My name is Cassandra Burko and my partner is Victoria Levi. Our proposal is about college students and the influence of their personality traits on their tendency to partake in sensation-seeking behaviors during their first year of school. In general, college is a test of how young adults utilize their newfound freedom from their families. For the most part, that means experimenting with alcohol, drugs, and different sexual partners. However, this can sometimes lead to patterns of unhealthy behaviors that last past college. Looking at prior studies, we predicted that aspects of one's personality may play a part in participation in these behaviors. In this particular study, Borsari, Murphy, and Barnett followed first-year college students and looked at common themes in their drinking. An interesting fact was that between 40 to 50 percent of students who come to college as non-drinkers began drinking once they entered college. High alcohol usage was also observed among Greek pledges as a way to bond. In a three-year longitudinal study, alcohol misuse was linked to hopelessness, anxiety, sensitivity, impulsivity, and sensation seeking. Each trait also fit with the motives of coping with depression, coping with anxiety, conformity, enhancement motives, and social motives. Cooper, Agocha, and Sheldon saw neuroticism, extroversion, and impulsivity, uh, impulsivity as core aspects of one's personality. Neurotic individuals tended to use risky behaviors as coping mechanisms for their negative states, while extroverts used them to enhance their positive emotions. In regards to hookup behaviors, the big five personality traits were assessed while controlling for alcohol usage. Each trait was associated with different types of sexual experiences with people known for less than 24 hours. Gonzalez and Reynolds acknowledged the impact of mental health on alcohol usage. Depression had a small direct effect on alcohol problems, while negative urgency and drinking to cope are associated with reactions to negative affect. This study also looked at hopelessness, impulsivity, anxiety sensitivity, and sensation seeking among students before beginning college and a month after being on campus in association with various drinking activities. This study followed freshman women and factors that contributed or negated from their tendencies to participate in hookup behaviors. This the participation and behaviors like alcohol usage, drug use, and aggression were assessed among incoming university students. These students were followed up until their spring of their freshman year. Their college and home residents were also assessed. So if they went to high school in a rural area or like versus a suburban area, and then in college if they like lived on campus or with their family. Once again, the substance use risk profile scale was used among incoming college students. Impulsivity and sensation seeking were strong predictors of alcohol usage. Finally, sensation seeking, lacking, lack of planning, lack of perseverance, and negative and positive urgency were compared to alcohol usage. Sensation seeking and positive urgency were associated with increases in the amount of alcohol consumed. So our research question was, what aspects of one's personality contribute to their likelihood to participate in certain sensation-seeking behaviors while in college? So our independent variable was aspects of personality, and our dependent variable was likelihood to, part to partake in sensation-seeking behaviors. We, hypothes we hypothesized that certain Personality traits have a direct relationship on the likelihood to partake in sensation-seeking behaviors. For our design, we decided on a panel study that would be used over the span of a year to accurately capture the first-year experience of students. And given the research question, this design is appropriate because it would allow researchers to get data from the same individuals at different points in time because if they maybe use different people, then they wouldn't get like an accurate depiction of how their specific traits were linked to that sensation-seeking behavior. 
Data will be collected through a group survey that involved an introductory statement to the participants. And we will describe the steps of data collection and we would tell them that the study is voluntary. So 15 males and 15 females between the ages of 18 to 24 would be selected and those students would be first year college students. And we decide on 30 participants so that data collection wouldn't be so overwhelming. And participants would be sampled through snowball sampling where already identified research participants were asked to identify other people that have um, similar characteristics to them. And we will use quota sampling to maintain the balance of 50% male and 50% female. So to measure, we decided on the big five personality inventory to um, capture like the five main traits. And it would have 50 statements with 10 questions that address each personality trait. And those would be indicated on a five point Likert scale ranging from strongly agree to strongly disagree. And that'd be administered at the first panel. And during the second panel, we would administer the addiction prone personality scale in order to see how vulnerable a person was to developing substance use disorders. And even though our research question isn't necessarily about substance abuse, it would still, the personality scale aspect of it would give us some insight on how personality is linked to sensation seeking behaviors. And the APP scale is a 21 item forced choice scale, so it's only yes or no answers. So data will be collected and analyzed with PASW statistics version 18 and we use the Kruskal Wallace H test to examine the analyzed data. And this would help us determine whether likelihood of sensation seeking behaviors varies depending on aspects of personality. And these are our references. Thank you.